Shalom from Copenhagen, from Denmark. This is Amir. I'm having a great time with my family. But um, I just wanted to give you a three minutes update about something very interesting that uh, I just heard uh, a few minutes ago. And we're talking about the um, Prime Minister Netanyahu's um, address to the Israeli government this morning. And um, it was part of the Mossad, the Secret uh, Service um, address to the government regarding the development in, in the Middle East, in particularly in Syria. And what happened is that um, the Israeli uh, head of the Mossad uh, basically said that um, as ISIS is fading out of the Middle East, um, Iran takes its place. Not only Iran per se, but also its proxies. We're talking about Hezbollah and others. And so what happened is in Iraq, we saw it happening. In Yemen, we saw it happening. And now we're watching it happening in Syria. Israel is very concerned, not only because the Hezbollah has its own presence in Syria, but we are watching right now proper Iranian soldiers arriving from Iran into Syria to be stationed in a military bases uh, just like the Russians did. And Prime Minister Netanyahu said the following things. It, you know, he doesn't talk too long, but what he says is worth listening to. He just said the following thing. He said, we are watching ISIS fading out and Iran taking its place. We will secure Israel borders and we will do whatever is necessary to make sure that Iran's expansion will not be in Syria. Now, let me, let me exp explain something. For many years, we've been seeking and trying to find the reason for the fall of Damascus. And the assumption was always that it is Israel that is going to attack. And the assumption was also that something of a great magnitude has to happen in order for Israel to do so. Um, I never said Israel will attack Damascus and destroy it. I said that this is a possibility. Of course, the Bible not, never said who is going to attack. The Bible says that Damascus will become a heap of ruins. That's uh, Isaiah 17. So we're not, I, I don't like to say that which the Bible cannot and will not say. However, when we deal with what the Bible is talking about, we can always um, look into the options based on the reality, based on what is going on around us. And there's a great, great, great chance that the reason why Iran and Turkey and Russia wa will come against Israel is because Israel will be attacking Iranian forces in Damascus, in Iran, in uh, Syria. And right now we know that Russia, Iran, and Turkey are having a very strong alliance. Just last week, they met in Tehran. They're meeting again. And that's a strong alliance. They don't understand that they need to defeat both the, um, uh, the expansion of ISIS as well as <clears throat> the rising power of Donald Trump and the Americans in the Middle East. And so they'll do whatever it takes. Now, they understand that uh, America is more than ever before on the side of Israel and its security needs. And so um, it's, you know, it's inevitable that um, obviously Russia will stand by its new allies. Now, like, let me make it very clear. That which we see as, as a threat, the Russians don't see it as, as a threat. I mean, the, the presence of Iranian soldiers on the Israeli border is not being viewed by the Russians as anything uh, too alarming for them. But it is alarming for us. Obviously, Putin wouldn't allow the, the, the Iranians to be on his border. In the same way, we will not allow them to be on our border. So I'm just wondering, what is it that is going to happen that will cause the fall of Damascus? And eventually, following that one, the Russian-led Iranian and Turkish invasion 
into Israel. Very interesting. Um, again, the remarks of the Prime Minister this morning, uh, more than ever before, made me think that it is a very realistic possibility that Israel will have to strike first in order to um, stop the expansion of Iran right at our border. So very interesting. Um, I just wanted to update you about that one. It's a short update. Keep your eyes open. And as always, let us raise our heads, lift up your heads, and look up because indeed our redemption is drawing near. For us, the believers, we don't need to look for sun eclipse or a star constellation or a moon turning into blood. We just watch all that Jesus said that will characterize the end times. And as we watch these things, we're more than confident that our gathering to be with him is very soon. Thank you. And God bless you from the heart of Europe, from Copenhagen. Um, I'm having a great time with my family. And um, probably I won't uh, be able to update you anymore, at least for 10 days. Because we're going to start a cruise uh, tomorrow uh, in the Baltic Sea. I'm going to be in Russia, actually, in St. Petersburg in a few days. So it's going to be interesting. All right. So thank you again. God bless you. And Shalom from Copenhagen. Denmark. Bye-bye.